present in Kosovo. You have our K4 mission there with uh, some thousand troops uh, to protect uh, all uh, communities in Kosovo. Um, uh, Serbia is a partner of NATO. Uh, I visited Serbia several times. We actually conducted an exercise together with Serbia not so long ago on, on, on civil preparedness. Um, uh, and, uh, and NATO has a history in the Balkans helping to end the two wars uh, uh, in Bosnia and Herzegovina and in Kosovo. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and of course, we will strongly welcome uh, the assumption of uh, uh, talks between Belga and Krishna uh, to try to find a solution. It's not for NATO or any other countries to dictate the outcome, uh, but the fact that they meet is at least encouraging. It's uh, hopefully a first step to have uh, a resumption of real talks between Krishna and Belga. But isn't that something that should be done by the EU? Uh, we have supported the EU facilitated dialogue, uh, uh, but we also welcome uh, we welcome any effort uh, to try to uh, uh, to bring Pristina and Belgrade uh, together. And I'm absolutely certain that uh, that uh, EU and the United States are able to coordinate their efforts. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, it is no one outside that will dictate the outcome. Uh, at the end of the day, it has to be the parties, Pristina and Belgrade, that has to uh, own the process, has to. They have to, they have to uh, uh, define the out outcome. Uh, uh, so what, what the U US can do, what the EU can do.